Hi everyone, welcome back in the Laravel 5.8 video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about the joins on the table. So we will uh, do the joins on two tables and more than two tables also and we will uh, uh, learn about the left join and right join also. Okay, so now let's get started. So first of all I am going to show you my this is my database and here you can see that there is three tables as you see first is a user table second is the orders and third one the order details okay so in these tables uh, just open all one all of them uh, you can see that in the order table we have a id user table we have an id and the order table we have a user id and in the order detail table we have the order id okay so the three tables are linked to each other so that we can easily make the join of them so now let's do it so this is my uh, welcome.web.php just close it it's not required now okay so first of all what I need to do first of all I'm going to make a controller and after that I'm going to write a router for it so just open the command prompt and here just clear it first of all uh, just write the command for creating a con making a controller php artisan make controller and controller name is youtube for now and just hit the enter and you will see that we got a controller inside the http controllers and this is okay so just i'm going to write a function first of all and in this function the function name is can be index or whatever you want to put and just for now uh, just echo Mm, join code uh, will be here nice okay so now make a router for it for router just write the route just make get and inside the get uh, put the path like joins which is I'm going on put the browser and here just you can put the my controller name YouTube at the rate function name which is the index and okay, nice and now just try to run it on that on the joints okay so we got here so now just start with the query so first of all we have to add the uh, namespace and my namespace for the uh, DB is use eliminate and support and uh, facet I think it's uh, yeah it's facet and write the DB nice now just come here and write dollar data with you can write the DB and here you can write the table my table name is user for now let's say and let's try to get the data from here first of all let's go the step by step and uh, here you can just write here echo uh, just return directly to. and let's check we got the data or not okay so the table name is the users not user and let's see so we got the data here you can see that okay so now just make a join here for that uh, I'm going to uh, print out the data not here so that uh, we can check it inside a very clear mode so just write here data and here we can put a simple thing which is the to array nice so now we are able to see it inside an array mode and we can just write here echo p so that it could be it will be in a pretty mode okay so we are able to see the two's data here and you can see that this is the pure user table with the name id and everything everything is also here fine so now I just put a join here for the just join just write here join 
and first parameter is the table name like say orders here you can check the parameter name which is the orders the table name is orders now second thing is uh, on what which key you want to put the uh, uh, join so it's a users dot id okay so you can see from here it's a user dot id comma equal to and orders okay you can swap them for it will be looks more nicer if we just write here at the last users dot id and here you can write here orders dot user underscore id now let's check it what's going on so now you can see that we got a two more thing which is the mobile and the user id okay you got here why they come from come here because they are also related to from the order now you can see that okay so they are here nice okay so now uh, this is a very simple example about the two tables now uh, let's say we want to put the uh, join on the three table then what we can do so let's say we are just going to put on the third table which is the order and the order detail so uh, on which keys it will be going to apply so we have a here uh, order IDs and in this table we also have the order IDs so we can put the uh, join on behalf of order id okay so now just put it just write a join and you can write the table name which is the order detail right yo okay order underscore details table name and the second parameter as the same order underscore details dot id equal to order underscore details ah, sorry orders dot id and here will be the order underscore id nice yes that's fine so now let's check it out here okay so we got some error here let's check it back so this is the order table with the order id uh, okay so it should be no it should be join not joins that's my bad and now you can see that we got the order result also here it's a order result it's a detail results and the uh, user details everything is here but there is only one result why this is a one result now for that you have to check that order details there is only one table in there okay but what if you want to see the two results here because the other table have the two results then what we have to do for that we have to put here left join if I just put here then you will see that we got the both data and if uh, the order ID is not present in the detail then it will be remains blank here okay so if similarly let's say we have a data only in the order table one and order details we have the two then we can simply put here right join but for now we have only one result then it will be only show only one results only okay so uh, let's say we are going to put here result 2 like id 113 and detail about the laptop with black color and order id is also let's say 111 which is not present okay now let's see uh, okay let's just come here back 
and just put it one. Okay, so this is not matched with anyone. That's why you can see that the name and everything is gonna blank also. Okay, so this is a very simple tutorial about the joints uh, in the Laravel and still have you any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video.